Hello, this is uh, TaylorMade, which is a fashion design service. And the motto is actually a previous TaylorMade, TaylorMade 14. And in that order, they ordered a character reference, which is an option in the service. And so they use this as a motto, which is free. And I just take it and I do the new fashion design on top. And here they, you can see they ordered futuristic, and I'm glad I'm glad they used. Well, actually, futuristic is always uh, interesting to me because when someone says futuristic, the mind automatically goes to the you know cliche, um, like feature things of. <laughs> Like, uh, I guess Star Wars or... No, no, the, the design was right. Um, like, maybe, you know what I mean. But anyway, you know, that cliche look. But actually, future can just be, you know... Uh, it could be, like, destitute-looking folk. Like, it could easily look just like the past. Like, Renaissance. So, the future is always, like, open. And... Whenever someone orders it, I try to go beyond that and not do the cliche or high tech thing. Um, I think that would be a better term for someone to use would be like high tech type fashion instead of future. Because I automatically want to go the opposite of the immediate thought, which would be like um, apocalyptic looking thing. And um, even though that could be, but still the main thing people usually go towards is the futuristic high tech instead of the future like dystopia or something. So uh, for this design, um, <laughs> I want it feminine so I, I try to go beyond like skirts and dress because skirts can be male too. And so um, I try to just go I guess uh, even though Shori, I don't think is exactly feminine, but, but even though society made me think it is, <laughs> I think. So I guess I did go that route, but uh, I think it fits for the character, at least with uh, this version of her body, because um, um, I, I still love those hips and that ass, and but I'm not sure if it's a shoe, but. Um, but anyway, uh, so you can see I changed my mind uh, with the head thing. And um, I worked with the transparent, uh, no, with, um, you know, it's like the form fitting material that people, some people are really into. It could be like a fetish or just a fashion thing. But this one I wanted a fashion thing. Uh, I guess that could be kind of cliche the um, transparency clothes and like um, what's that movie uh, Blade Runner yeah <laughs> like they had a lot of that I guess but um, uh, so I played with that I did the extra design first because I was a bit late on this order uh, I lost track of time and um, so um, when I'm late on things, if I'm like too late, I generally do an extra, little extra thing. And so, um, also with, uh, so you can see this is the main design that fits the order, which they wanted the outfit and um, the outfit package, which is the front view and the rear view. And um, so this one, um, at first, I was going to do, like, the whole dress. I kept changing my mind <laughs> with uh, doing the whole dress. and um, But for some reason, I felt that would be too, I don't know, plain. Even though, I guess it could have worked. And um, Oh, and actually, some changes are, like, on the fly. Like, how I got the strap, the neck, um, torso strap thing. <laughs> um, I uh, changed that design like on the fly 
and um and I, I really like the underwear in this <laughs> I think that's cute it like uh, goes around up to tail and such but um and I did have another strap in mind but I thought one like for the back there you see how it's just one I wanted I was gonna have two but again changed my mind and see this is the skirt I, I like that uh, the high end and short skirt so that's why I changed it because I thought it would be more interesting and um, <laughs> you can see I, I go through a couple of different designs and um, let's see oh and um, so I think this character always has headphones listening to music so um, just I've worked with this character before even before the model, the uh, TaylorMade 14. And so um, I think I recall them always, um, the client saying they tend to have headphones or listening to music. So, um, see, sometimes I do remember some detail. If I get a client that orders the same character enough times, I start like just remembering like what they like and what I think they like to see. So, um, so uh, this the main design has like the headphone ish type, and you can see how I changed the shirt to uh, well the top because <laughs> uh, I was gonna have it long, but I thought uh, I wanted it uh, the skirt to be on its own, and um, I thought it would be cool if it strapped to the back of the skirt in the back but was strapped just to the chest bra thing <laughs> and um, see sometimes a uh, design could be too plain looking to me where I feel it's not worth or I feel it's like too uh, simple, simple or too light to be um, worth the, um, the cost and so I do I try to do a bit extra to um, make up for it or to like get it to a point where I'm satisfied and I feel it's fair so um, with this oh and I also try to not be like I try to make the any extra clothes like this the jacket I wanted the back of the shirt to be shown so um, see I wanted all that to be shown and so I was, uh, at first I was going to have the jacket her carrying it, but then you couldn't see the jacket. So I'm like, mm, fuck it, she's throwing it. Or it's like flying away. <laughs> Rather than just like on a hanger, I guess. I guess I could have done the hanger, but I always have to... I always have to have like some difficulty. Damn me. But... <laughs> so this time... This always have to be a story behind shit. But... <laughs> um... And I, I did like the purple. Uh, I wanted the blue, the blue um, turquoise to match their eyes. And mm, I probably could have kept it purple. You see, I didn't keep it purple. <laughs> but um, like uh, with coloring the the fashion, I tried to make it work with the coloring of the character. Because I cannot stand when I see a a character and their like fashion choice like clashes with their body coloring, and that just annoys me. <laughs> it annoys me. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, missed opportunity. And I'm like, damn, this motherfucker can't match. <laughs> but um, so I uh, sometimes I mix it up if it looks good. But you know um. So, uh, with this, um, I, I did like the jacket, and, oh, and the little thing on her, that's like the controls. It like uh, controls the volume and stuff, if she wants to do it manually, and um, I guess it ties into the back, the, um, the head, the headset, and that's like I tried it with future also if I am going to like future tech 
uh, then I try to come up with like a tech that we don't have like I try to imagine I keep saying like I hate that but uh, for example uh, I try to think of what kind of tech would the future hold and so um, that's what I went with and with this extra design you see I didn't do the headphones I was going to and actually you can't see it because I sped it up but there was a point where I like stopped for like a, a couple of minutes trying to decide uh, how to add something or what I should add else and those shoes are interesting it's like they're solid but they also have like a transparency thing over top of them <laughs> and the other one I figured it would be cool if it like folds up like a boot and so one leg is like down to show that and um and the little hip thing it actually goes under the shorts so like the underwear is the hip um the hip accessory and I thought that would be cool like um for example <laughs> uh in the fashion of future I try to go with things of how would the future design it so um you know because I imagine how it was back in the day like they would probably think our fashion is weird and um so I, ch I try to go with that with things that don't look exactly correct oh and I felt the inside of the jacket was just missing something so um I just found a random pattern online. It's quick for these sketches. See, that's the sketch part. <laughs> like, ignore how clean it is. Like, sometimes I, I do, like, cheat because it's still a sketch. So I just randomly pick a pattern. But if this was, like, a pro work, I would make the pattern myself. So there you have it. Thank you for your time. And I hope the client loves it, likes it. And please... Have wonderful, wonderful wet dreams. <laughs>